I'm Chen Tian Chen, uh, the corresponding author of the paper that will appear in this issue of neurons. Uh, we are interested in how neurons undergoing dendrite morphogenesis during development. In particular, we are interested in how distal dendrites that are far away from the soma undergoing extension and retraction. So we use Drosophila dendritic aberration neuron as the model system. So while some dendrites are actively undergoing extension, some undergoing a retraction. So this suggests that individual dendrites autonomously control their own behavior. So we postulate that each dendrite has to organize different cellular machinery for its own behavior, such as the coordination of exocytosis and endocytosis. This work started with the study of mutants for the non-associated kinase called NEC. In NEC mutant, the number and length of dendrites are reduced. So these phenotypes are particularly prominent in distal higher order dendrites. Hi, I'm Wei Kang Yang, the first author of this paper. We finished this work when I was a graduate student in National Taiwan University. As we just showed, NEC is specifically required for higher order dendrite growth in distal region. But how could NEC ensure such asymmetry growth in dendritic tree? By the IP mass, we first identified the major neck in the actin protein are alpha adaptin, beta adaptin, and mutual adaptin, which form adapter protein complex 2. They function in recruiting calcium to form the internalizing vesicle. Not only the protein interaction, the genetic interaction also suggests that neck may direct dendrite growth through endocytosis. If so, we then wonder where is neck in dendrite and where is the highly activated endocytosis in dendrite. By YP tagging, we found that NEC is widely expressed in dendrite, and more interestingly, if we look at the distal region, YP NEC is localized as panta structure at dendritic tip and branching point in higher order dendrites. The co-localization of calcium and other endocytic membrane markers indicate that YP NEC panta is highly associated with endocytosis. Here, under time-lapse recording, we found that this endocytic panta stay immobilized in dendrite. Therefore, unlike Gauchi outpost and RAP5, these endocyte panta are serve as stations to continuously boost local endocytosis. Now we know that a lot of calcium molecule can be concentrated into panta and establish the endocyte station. But how to localize this station to distal dendrite? In contrast to wild type, the neck mutant dendrite failed to localize calcium panta in distal higher order dendrite. We then wonder what are the function of this endocyte station in dendrite. Could they promote the growth of nearby dendrite? To know the answer, please see our following time-lapse recording. Thank you. Hi, I'm Xun Li. Wei Kang and I did a live imaging of the neuron in early cerny star larvae. First, to test whether the presence of classroom panta in high order dendrite regulate dendrite dynamics, we compare the result in wild type and neck mutant. In that mutant, dendrite had obvious less distance and lower frequencies of extension than retraction, resulting in less growth. This suggests that net modulate dynamic of terminal branches. Furthermore, we recall terminal dendrite with or without YP neck panta at the basal branch side. The YP neck positive branch were highly dynamic and eventually lead to a dendrite length increase. However, the YP neck negative branches retrail still more frequently and it ended up with even a length decrease. This data show that the local presence of YP neck panta at basal branch side appear to modulate the dynamic of nearby terminal branches, which result in dendrite growth. One critical question in this project is that what endocytosis might do to regulate dendrite morphogenesis. So we think there are three possibilities. First, to endocytose trophy factor receptors for the activation of growth signaling pathway. Second, to endocytose some external proteins during transcytosis from dendrite to exons or to eliminate proteins that are mistargeted to the dendrites. And third, to be integrated into the recycling of cell addition molecules during their transportation to distal dendrites. So in this study, we provide some evidence that NEC might regulate the recycling of newer glion, the Drosophila homolog of cell adhesion molecule L1 in dendrite development. So our future study will focus on how endocytosis is coupled to exocytosis that is also known to promote dendrite morphogenesis. Imagine that when one dendrite is determined to undergo extensions, it has to coordinate several machineries such as membrane addition, protein transport, and the cytoskeletal elongations. 
And this process has to be coordinated in a very organized manner that eventually lead to dendrite growth. Thank you.